Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here, and I've got a quick masking tip for you, uh, how to work with luminosity masks and some of the new sliders we have in Photo Raw 2018. Now, luminosity masks can be confusing. You're thinking about the luminance tones in your photo, and maybe you don't know, is this a mid-tone? Is this uh, you know, a deep shadow? I'm, I'm not sure what these terms mean. Well, try working visually as opposed to interpreting the tones of your image uh, in your brain. So in this scene, I have these foreground rocks and this foreground that's dark. I want to open it up. I want to make it a little brighter. I've got a local adjustment here. I'll just raise up the exposure to stage my brush and go in here and hit the lumen button in the masking area. So what happened? The sky got a little brighter. The foreground didn't change much. All right, well, this isn't exactly what I want. Let's figure out what's going on by working visually using the view option to see the mask. Masks, we know that black conceals, and white reveals, and gray does something in between the two. So I want to get the rocks to be brighter, white. So let me invert the mask. Well, that's a start. Now I've got a much brighter foreground. I know that this exposure adjustment is going to hit this whole foreground area. Now what about the rest of the sky here? I could brush it away. Uh, I can also start playing with levels and window. And I don't really want to think too much about what should I do. I'm just going to start trying things. I'm going to grab this middle slider, move it back and forth. All right, if I move it toward the right, my sky is getting darker. That exposure setting is not touching the sky. That's good. Now, if I push too far, it creeps into the foreground, so maybe somewhere around there. Now, what about the window slider? I can grab a slider and start pulling it around. All right, that's the wrong one. That's making the rocks go dark. I don't want that. Let's try the other side, and we can see that that sky is starting to get nice and dark. That mask is removing everything, and once I get to a certain point, I don't want to go too far. Again, I'll start to creep in the foreground right around there. I always have my masking brush. I can just paint away the rest of this area nice and easily. And now if I click view to turn off that mask, my sliders are only going to affect the foreground. And so I can open up the shadows a little bit. I can add some warmth, do whatever I want to. The, the, the point here, the takeaway is if you're not sure about how to work with luminosity masks, Work visually, use this view option, and just start moving the sliders around, thinking about what areas of your photo, what elements in your photo do you want to either have the sliders affect or to have protected from these adjustments. I hope you've enjoyed this on one short clip. I'm Scott Davenport, and thanks for watching.